All right, everyone, we are back. It is your boy Jerome Parker, aka Master Shake. And today we are going to be adding some new functionality to the Screen Recorder Pro app. I got some of your comments and it was asked of me to add uploading to Google Drive functionality. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how we do that. Now, if you remember from the last blog uh, entry, you know, we were working on adding live stream functionality using YouTube and signing in with Google OAuth. So since we already did that, we can just build upon that and add some new scopes for Google Drive. Um, so let's get started on that. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, obviously, is you're going to want to go to the Google Cloud Console, um, go to API and Services, and you want to make sure that you have Google Drive API enabled. So when you get over here to the Google Cloud Platform, you're going to go over to Enable API and Services, and then you're just going to basically search for um, you're going to hit enable APIs and services, and then you're going to search for Google Drive. And once that comes up, you know, you just click it and uh, you hit enable. I already have it enabled, but uh, it'll say enable this API. So once you do that, now we're going to head back to our Laravel application where we worked with Laravel Socialite to add um, some additional scopes. So if you head over to your API route uh, and you go to your login YouTube function that we created, you'll see that we have the scopes here. And um, what the heck? okay, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Uh, we added three new scopes. We added the Drive metadata read only scope. We added the Drive metadata scope, and we added the off slash Drive scope. So once you add those scopes then when you reload your application and do the google sign in in addition to asking you for the youtube permissions it'll now ask you for google drive permissions and that's a that's essentially it on the back end now when we head over to the front end to the view application we're going to go to the home dot view and basically we're going to add a button here um to our list of actions and display it if upload is ready which is you know the same functionality from last time and uh we're going to call it upload to google drive and we're going to add a function called upload to drive so if we head over to our method we're going to make an async function called upload to drive now with the google drive api basically you are going to hit um the files upload uh endpoint you're going to do a post and make sure that the upload type is multi-part. And we're gonna make a form data object. And in this form data object, it's gonna have two fields. We're gonna have a metadata field, which is gonna describe the metadata of the file that we're uploading. And then we're gonna have a file field, which will actually hold the binary of the file that we're uploading, which in this case will be the WebM file. So here I create a metadata object. I give it a name. I'll call it Screen, Rec Screen Recorder Pro and then I concatenate the dates on there. You can do whatever you want. Uh, me timestamps, so it's just, you know, easy. And then we're gonna give it a MIME type of, uh, oh, this shouldn't be application zip. Uh, it will be application zip in the follow-up video, but I went ahead and commented that out. Um, so we're gonna be adding functionality where it actually be using the speech recognition API. So we'll get a transcript of what is said. But in this, um, in this application, it's just going to be a uh, video. And then we're going to create the form data. We're going to append the metadata, and we're going to create a new blob and j uh, stringify that blob um, and give it a type application .j application JSON. If we don't do it this way, we're going to get a weird error. I don't know why we have to do it this way, but we got to send it as a blob with a MIME type of JSON. Um, and then we send the file and then we attach um, it should be uh, this.file. So then we do the fetch. We await it. 
that, that, that we get the content links, the links to the file, and then we pass in the bearer token, which is the YouTube token, which we got from last time. So there's nothing extra that we have to do in that regard. And then uh, we wait for this uh, fetch to complete, and then we alert the user that um, the file has been uploaded to Drive. So here I got, um, Here um, I got, let's go to my drive, my google.com, I just uploaded a video. And here we got the WebM. I guess let me connect to Google. I'm already signed in. Boom, boom, boom. Cool, cool. Let's record a tab. Let's record this place right here for a few seconds. All right, cool. Boom, boom, boom. Let me stop recording. Now. We uh, have here, upload to G Drive, boom, 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 upload, video uploaded, let's go here, let's refresh. And there we go, boom, boom. So as you can see, it's real simple, real easy. The source code is on the GitHub. Please head over to my website, JeromeParker.com, and click on the blog link. It'll have uh, the source code and everything in detail there. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, hit that like, share this. And if you want to see more functionality added, please drop a comment. Like I said, I will be adding speech recognition. Um, will be able to not just stream to YouTube, but actually upload the video to YouTube because not everybody wants to stream. And um, I'm looking for new ideas. And then we're going to be going into monetization afterwards. So uh, mess with the kid, you know, go to GitHub, get with the, get the code, fork it, add stuff, do, uh, do a pull request. I welcome it all. Until next week, holla at y'all. Have a good day.